it's fabs and welcome to a fab kitchen today we are carrying on the eat what you watch series the cookbook by andrew raya aka binging with babish now you must be wondering why i am dressed up today and that is because we are making the shrimp cocktail recipe so cocktail dress for the cocktail recipe in this series i am promoting isabella's earrings so definitely check her out on instagram and check out her depop store now Let's get started. The ingredients that we're working with today are horseradish, Tabasco, ketchup, Worcester sauce, leek, celery, carrot, lemon, shrimp, garlic, bay leaf, thyme, whole black peppercorns and parsley. Let's start off by chopping the lemon in half. Trim the ends of the leek and half it lengthwise. Let's trim the end of the celery off as well and chop it in half. Again, trim the carrot and chop it in half. You shouldn't need to peel your carrot as it's just going in the stock. Just make sure it's clean. Chop that head of garlic in half too. As you can see, I had some trouble with this, so make sure your knife is nice and sharp and be careful. Now, let's chuck it all in a pan. My pan was definitely too small for the leeks, but chopping them in half solved the problem. Now let's turn the heat up high and wait for it to boil. Shrimp fun fact. Did you know shrimp are actually sometimes called prawns? And there is no scientific difference between the words shrimp and prawn. Another fun fact, did you know that every shrimp is born a male and then as they mature they become a female? Crazy. And there are over 128 species of shrimp. According to mobile-cuisine.com, the pistol shrimp can deliver an explosive attack hotter than the surface of the sun and loud enough to rupture a human eardrum. So stay away from your pistol shrimp if you see them, they got the big plow. Now that it's boiling, let's put the lid on, turn the temperature down and let it simmer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes is over, let's take the lid off, give it a stir, turn the heat off, add the shrimp in, making sure that they're all fully submerged. And cover. The cookbook says to turn off the heat and then to add the shrimp in for about two to four minutes depending on size. So it's been about five minutes I would say and it hasn't gone proper pink everywhere so I don't think it's cooked. So I've looked it up and it says jumbo prawns should take around seven to eight minutes to cook a boil in. So I am going to turn on the heat again and try and cook the prawns for another five minutes I would say and see if that helps. And we're ready. They're a bit hot at the moment, but we are going to try and peel them and devein them. So this is my first time doing this, and I don't usually cook seafood. Like I'm not, I don't necessarily trust myself cooking seafood usually. But we're gonna see how this turns out, and let's pray that it is cooked through. I ended up having to watch a YouTube video to find out how to do this, as it was my first time. So what you want to do is carefully remove the head, pluck the legs off, and peel the shell off gently. For this recipe, we want to keep the tail on, so just make sure you hold onto the tail as you remove the shell. When deveining the shrimp, we're not actually removing any veins, but the intestines. All you need to do is make a small incision in a line down the back of the shrimp and scoop those intestines out. It did look as though it would be easy to devein it when the shrimp was raw, but for this recipe, we needed the shrimp to be intact throughout the cooking process. I have finished peeling that shrimp and deveining it. It was an interesting process. Bearing in mind I've never done that. It was, let me just say, it's not for the faint hearted because those eyeballs really be staring at you. And at one point, oh my gosh, I went to just twist off the head and the brain just went all over me. So I had like shrimp, brain, whatever, all up my arm. So, um, Let's hope I can get that image out of my mind before I eat it. 
Yeah, I've covered it. It's going in the fridge until the sauce is done and we're ready to serve. Let's get the sauce assembled. We've got ketchup, horseradish, Tabasco. And Worcester sauce. Then we're going to mix them all together until, as Andrew Rea, aka Binging with Barish, says, the flavours have gotten to know each other. Now for the taste test. Apparently, in the UK we call it prawn cocktail rather than shrimp cocktail, and we make the sauce differently than it's made in the US. So we make it with ketchup, mayonnaise, and then whatever else you want to put in. So it could be Tabasco, Worcester sauce, lemon juice, whatever. And in the US they make it with horseradish rather than mayonnaise. So I would love to know which one's nicer. But let's try this one. Mmm. Mmm. Oh that's nice. Mmm. It's really tart. Like not like crazy tart. But you know those taste buds here. I feel like I've spoken about them on the channel before. But the taste buds right here, it's like really ignited them. Oh, it's so nice. So it's sharp from the horseradish. You've got a tiny bit of a kick from the Tabasco and the horseradish as well. And then it's like a slightly like sour, I guess, from the vinegar in the tomato ketchup. And the Worcester sauce as well. So it's just, it's come together really nicely. And I'd love to try it with the prawns. So let's dish it up and try it out. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud of this. It's not perfect but it looks beautiful and I hope it tastes good as well so let's taste it okay and come on dippy dip oh okay hmm I honestly thought it'd be a little bit more special. Okay. I don't necessarily understand the obsession that people have with shrimp and after eating this I still don't understand. But that sauce is banging and it is lovely just on its own. And with the shrimp obviously it needs a vessel to be eaten with but I don't know I just don't think the shrimp is the right thing for it I guess. I mean I tried another one. I have four words for this dish, for just shrimp cocktail in general. Not worth the hype. That's it. I'm done. Let's go on to ratings. Okay, in terms of taste, I am going to give it a four star because it isn't like super, super special. It's nice, but it's not amazing and I really don't understand the hype at all. Uh, you really had like the nice tartness as well as sweetness come through from the sauce but I just I don't know I, I wasn't getting anything from the the shrimp and maybe it was the quality of shrimp I don't know but it's not really good coming out of the packet so I don't know it's just it wasn't for me I guess now in terms of ease of sauce everything was super easy to find um so you can just get everything at your supermarket so I'm gonna give it a five star in terms of difficulty I'm gonna give it a four star as well because it wasn't crazy hard to make but there was just one step that was a bit tricky and that was peeling and deveining that shrimp and as someone who doesn't really cook with seafood that step was particularly difficult and I did have to look up how to do this on YouTube and that did really help but <laughs> I did not expect how messy my shrimp would come out to be but um I wouldn't say it was awful <laughs> as my first time but um, I wouldn't say this recipe was ridiculously difficult to make. Again, I wish he would specify how long the recipe should take. And for me, it took about an hour and that's filming. So I think it would take about 45, 50 minutes, depending on the size of your shrimp. Because I did have to wait 
quite a bit longer for my shrimp to cook through than it says in the book so just be careful and check your shrimp because mine would definitely not pink after four minutes so overall this dish gets a 4.3 if you're into seafood, if you're into shrimp, and if you're into shrimp cocktail, then definitely try this recipe because that sauce is banging. But if not, then just skedaddle along because it's not really needed and it's just a bit fancy for something that's not redonkulously amazing. But yes. Time for price and advice. This dish cost £6.90 to make in total, working out as £1.73 per serving. In terms of advice... Make sure to look up how long your shrimp should be cooked for, depending on size, because mine took a lot longer than the book stated and you don't want to be giving yourself or others food poisoning. Do not serve it in quite as deep a glass or dish, because trying to reach into that wine glass was a task and a half, and trying to do it elegantly, my goodness. And finally, save the stock that you end up with after removing the shrimp, as you could use it for so many great dishes. Don't let it go to waste. The same goes for the shrimp heads and shells. They'd be great in a nice little stock. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Don't forget to check out Isabella's earrings on Instagram and on Depop. But for now, PUSS! There's actually no scientific... Scientific... These the shrimp have eyeballs. And you know what's scary? It's the fact... <laughs> okay, so basically... Um, like whole ground peppercorn are in there <laughs> and I'm like is that a peppercorn? Okay. <laughs> is that an eyeball? <laughs>